In tonight's Max Minute, plasma therapy being used to treat coronavirus patients, but it does have its issues. Here's CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez. Until a vaccine is developed, the more immediate pressing need is for an effective treatment that can save the lives of the hundreds of thousands sick with coronavirus. High hopes for our treatment have come from a convalescent plasma from recovered COVID-19 patients, or more precisely, the neutralizing antibodies their plasma contains. But promising as it is, there are significant limitations to using convalescent plasma as a large-scale therapy. A recovered volunteer patient who makes abundant neutralizing antibodies has to be identified. The donor has to be thoroughly screened to ensure they're not carrying some other infectious disease. Plus, the patient and donor must be the same blood type. Now, the NYU Grossman School of Medicine and pharma giant Eli Lilly have circumvented those drawbacks. Using donor convalescent plasma, Lilly identified and cloned the gene that codes for a powerful antibody inhibitor of SARS-CoV-2. In the lab, that gene has been used to manufacture large quantities of the purified antibody that attaches to the spike the coronavirus uses to infect human cells. Now, in the first in humans phase one clinical trial at NYU, Dr. Mark Mulligan and colleagues began giving escalating doses of this monoclonal antibody drug to eight non-intubated, moderate to severe COVID-19 patients. If this first phase goes well, doctors hope to begin a much larger series of trials around the country to prove that the drug called LY-CoV-555 is in fact the first effective drug specifically designed to treat COVID-19. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And if you have a question you'd like to ask Dr. Max, go to cbsnewyork.com slash max.